So here I have two separate layers. I have this um, text that says dramatic turn. I'm going to turn that off for a second so that you can see what else I have here. I have a GIF of Morpheus turning dramatically, hence the title. So I want to actually turn this into a mask. I want to basically remove all the stuff that's around this text and have Morpheus show through the text. So the white will disappear, there'll be animation going on inside of it, and it will be awesome. So what I'm going to do then is I make sure I have my text layer selected, and you could have more than one text layer, of course. You could have more than one mask. But this specific one I'm going to click. I'm going to go to Layer, Create Masks from Text. I click that and it turns it into a series of masks. So if I click the little drop down for it, we also note that it turns off the text. But if I click this, here's a whole bunch of little masks basically based on the font. What I need to do, and this is kind of weird, is I need to click on the masks and I'm going to go to Edit Copy or Command C if you like. Now I'm going to click on this GIF and do edit paste or command V. I'm going to then turn off those other outlines. Now we see that this mask has pasted into that animation that I had there. So again, basically you can't, it's it's problematic to just try and use the mask that it makes. We have to copy the masks and then paste it in there. So now, if I move through here, we can see that dramatic turn does indeed happen. Occasionally, you might run into an issue where you paste in the mask, but it ends up being really small. And when you try to click on it and resize it, it just moves the lines and the points, and that's really frustrating. So what I would recommend doing, at least this worked for me, there might be some different methods, is to double click on the mask because it'll all kind of be grouped together. Once you double click again on it, you'll notice that it puts this bounding box around it. I'm going to zoom out now, and then I'm gonna put my mouse in the corner and it gives us a resize area. It's really kind of annoying that you have to double click a couple of times there, but honestly, all of the other workarounds that are online are um, really not that useful. So once I have that resized, that mask, I can close that and go back to my original and I can actually move it again from here. Kind of annoying, but um, better than not doing so at all.